And I want to welcome everyone to this edition of the Public Good App House. We'll be showcasing tech for your nonprofit to unlock the power of location-based data. So the Public Good App House events like these are an initiative of the TechSoup's Caravan Studios. Um, at TechSoup, we believe technology like smartphones, internet connectivity, training, and more have the power to serve our communities better. So today's presentation, we have Marina Smith. Um, she serves at Mapbox, the customer marketing and social impact manager. Every day she supports and celebrates innovation and positive impact of Mapbox employees and customers. Before joining Mapbox, Marina led participatory mapping initiatives for land use planning, indigenous and community land rights protection, and natural resource management. Great, well, lovely to join you today. Um, I'm from Mapbox. Uh, I'm based in the beautiful land of Hawaii, but it's great to work with folks across the mainland as well. Um, I'm here to give a, an overview of what Mapbox is and some of the core products that are available to you if you're building with Mapbox, and then ways that you can access nonprofit support. So I'll start off by saying that Mapbox is not a single application. So my, my demo is going to be similar to Emily's in terms of the it's the platform. Uh, we are also not GIS software. We are a platform of products designed for developers who want to add location features to their custom web or mobile applications. So you can build a great app to demo at Public uh, Good App House. So either you're a developer who has never really worked with geospatial data, perhaps, and you're looking for developer-friendly tools that take care of the geospatial heavy lifting and are just very easy to build with, or perhaps you're a geospatial professional and you're looking for tools to help you build highly polished and performant end products like web maps or applications after you've used your GIS to do your data work. And the chances are good that you have already been interacting with Mapbox Maps. Uh, our customers span a incredible range of industries um, from consumer apps like recreation apps or news outlets for data visualization, delivery apps, you name it. They all look very different because of how customizable the Mapbox product stack is. So I'll start with our Mapbox Maps products. These are the ones most commonly used by nonprofits. Um, I'll call out a couple. Uh, Mapbox Studio is our visual interface for designing custom map styles that control every detail of how a map appears. Um, I'll give you a little more information about that in a second. If you want to build an interactive map hosted online, then you would probably be using our Mapbox GL JavaScript library. Um, and that's where you would add in the different interactive features into your application. Likewise, if you were building for mobile, we have native SDKs for iOS and Android, as well as plugins for frameworks like Flutter. Now, just a little bit more on Mapbox Studio. I think it's a great place to start to get to know Mapbox. You don't have to be a developer to use Studio. It, uh, there's no code required. This is very much a graphic um, styling interface. It's free, it's browser-based, there's no download or license needed. Um, it's a complete design ecosystem. It lets you come in and play with all of the different core tile sets of data that Mapbox makes available to every account. And that's things like roads, terrain, buildings, satellite imagery, labels, um, that all comes kind of uh, available in existing templates, or you can build completely from scratch and customize to your heart's content as well. You can also add in your own data layers to create things like data viz, heat map layers, or add in custom um, locations, custom labels, that kind of thing. And so we see nonprofits um, use Mapbox Maps products to create high impact visualizations on the web in particular, um, a lot of data dashboards. Um, Mapbox is truly optimized to handle very large data sets and still perform very quickly and very smoothly. So we see a, a lot of, of big data visualizations as well as things like um, care locators or service locators. If you want to build a very polished map experience on your website or in your application. That's what the Maps products are for. I will give a special shout out to Storytelling Maps, building on what Emily shared about uh, the Esri Story Maps. 
for Mapbox, we have a scroll through experience. Um, this is available as template code. Again, you, you, if you're building with Mapbox, you're building as a developer. So you're going to get into some of the coding, but it gives you complete control over this immersive scroll through experience where you can add in your narrative, your videos, and have an interactive map um, change dynamically as you scroll through the story. So I love these. They work great for nonprofits and for uh, communicating impact and explaining some of the complexities of your data. Okay, so now I'll cover a couple other suites of Mapbox products that, to be honest, are less commonly used by nonprofits, but I like to make sure that they're on your radar um, because I think there's great potential here. And I wanna make sure that people, when they think about location technologies, you're not only thinking maps, you're thinking um, location services more generally. So Mapbox has a full suite of products around navigation. And this is because we work with you know, uh, big companies that are automakers or operate fleets, delivery companies, for example. So if you have use cases where you are needing to say, maybe your food bank and you have a lot of deliveries to coordinate, or you have crews of people and resources that you're moving around and you wanna focus on optimizing those resources, Maybe you've got an out-of-the-box app that you're already using, or maybe you've got some custom needs and you need to kind of graduate to a level of having a customized application. We've got the suite of products that lets you build that, or if you're working with a developer you're bringing in to build something custom, we've got the full suite. So um, definitely, if you're curious about the world of navigation, come talk to us about that. We're happy to map our products onto your use cases. Um, in particular, I will give a shout out too to some of our navigation products that are more geared towards analysis. So for example, our isochrone API lets you create um, polygons, areas that represent travel time. And, and these are useful for nonprofits if you want to do an analysis like a catchment area of services based on travel times to a location or assessing an impacted population. Um, so you're not necessarily only building turn by turn navigation experiences with these tools. You can also do back end data analysis with these APIs. And then our other suite of tools and products are around search and data. When I say search, I'm talking about geocoding primarily. So if you have, say, address data that's text based data and you need to do geospatial things with it, at some point you have to convert it into coordinates. Um, or maybe vice versa, maybe you have raw coordinates and you want to convert it into readable addresses. So that's what geocoding does. Um, also, if you are already using data in Snowflake, perhaps it's a popular data management tool in the cloud, we have a native app there. And there's a couple enterprise data products as well that I'll highlight for you. So we have our Mapbox boundaries data. This is a, a data set of over 5 million boundaries for political, statistical, postal, administrative boundaries around the world. Um, they're really powerful for creating visualizations as well as aggregating or enriching your data beyond something just like geocoding. Maybe you want to add uh, metadata about the administrative areas to your point data or do some point polygon analysis. Um, this is a product that we can donate uh, to nonprofits. So come talk to us if you've got a need for highly curated data sets of, of boundaries. And then also we do have telemetry derived products. And so this data comes from uh, anywhere when someone's using a mobile application that's powered by Mapbox, we get some aggregated data, uh, all anonymized that can feed um, services like live traffic. So identifying areas of congestion or identifying patterns of, of movement, which can be helpful in a nonprofit context for things like maybe footfall analysis, looking at um, where certain landmarks get popular. Maybe you're doing some site selection type work uh, or perhaps looking at risk analysis, road traffic patterns for transportation. This is a big data set. Uh, again, we can donate and discount it for nonprofit research projects. So if you're intrigued, please get in touch. All right, and so on that note, how do we support our nonprofit partners? We have a highly tailored program. We don't have just a set discount for nonprofits. We want to hear you know, what you're building, what your goals are, what products you need to achieve those goals, and then we'll work with you in terms of figuring out how to make that feasible and make this great impact happen. 
So that ranges from technical support, mentorship, coaching, directing you through the Mapbox documentation, um, as well as discounts and donations of product. And also telling the story of what you built. So finally, just to wrap up, um, people often attend sessions like this because they want to have that takeaway of, okay, I mean, why would I choose to use Mapbox over anything else? I think the main points that I see um, nonprofits choose Mapbox when you are looking for developer-friendly tools to create something custom. You want something that is highly reliable, uh, enterprise grade, the level of what global companies are using. You know those services are not gonna go down. They're not gonna slow down. And you need that full kind of level of customization. Maybe your developers are clamoring for some more flexibility in uh, the systems that they're building for you. And then um, we also have this direct tailored support program for nonprofits that makes a big difference for a lot of our partners. So with that, um, please ask your questions about Mapbox in the chat. Happy to chat more and uh, get in touch.